over the C300. Uh, and the time code settings I use and the audio settings I use, if it'll ever focus. Um, so it has two XLRs on the side. And then it has these as your control panel. So this is obviously one, which is back here. And then the red XLR there is the right. So I usually set to uh, manual, of course. And I do line level. And this is because I'm already going through my mixer, so it's already been amplified. Uh, whereas if you're just plugging a microphone in, then obviously you go to mic level, and if it needed uh, phantom power, then it's the plus 48 volts. And you can see down here that you've got your uh, audio channels in and out. Um, and basically, once you've kind of plugged in and set up, then go over to your mixer. I'm doing 664. And I do tone, if you hold down the select button, put tone, then it actually pulses on one side. Uh, you saw three tones there because I'm actually doing a, a auxiliary out as well. And then you'll see on here that it pulses at 20, and you obviously just correct using the dials. Um, to get actually two separate channels, you have to be exporting them as separate, as left and right, but also you have to go into menu, and then you go down to... Uh, audio, audio input, and make sure you just select channel one. Uh, you can do one slash two, but that'll basically put them both onto one channel, if you see what I mean, instead of separating them out. Uh, yeah, so now we'll just skip to all the timecode options. So timecode is on the zero, 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 and what you want to look out for is just checking that it's on preset, free run, and that the TC in or out is on in, because otherwise it'll be generating it out. And I'm just using a BNC connector straight into the timecode socket, which will be covered up there. So you just pull that off and then plug that in. Now this is hardwired into my mixer, so yeah, it's easy. I'm looking at the screen and at what I'm doing. And that's how you do it, really. And then you should all be set up. So you should have the time code generating up there, and it should jump as soon as you click in. And then obviously, once you're off here, then it's fine. I plug in headphones just below uh, here, and then this is so it can actually track back. And on my metering, uh, oh, I don't have returns on here. But you see down there, the B, that's uh, monitoring my return level. And to set the headphone volume up, you simply go to, I forgot which one it is. Ah, five and six. So headphone up, headphone down. Cool, and that's it.